Jim and the Rock. Hip-hop has become a vibrant pillar of American music since it was founded 50 years ago. It's had an impact on fashion, culture, and faith. Christian hip-hop started in the early 80s, a natural offshoot of hip-hop fans who were focused on their belief in Christ. Justin Sarachek is the editor-in-chief of Rapzilla. It's a website devoted to following Christian hip-hop. Different artists in that era, it's kind of like, hey, there's nobody, there's nobody that's instilling positive messages rapping about the Bible. Christian hip-hop started in the 80s with acts like Pete McSweet, Stephen Wiley, Michael Peace. DC Talk found a wider audience in the late 80s and 90s, and groups like the Cross Movement that gained the respect of mainstream hip-hop. Stephen Wiley kind of saw what Sugar Hill Gang was doing and different artists in that era and was kind of like, hey, there's nobody, there's nobody that's rapping about God. It was Michael Peace who saw the, the crack epidemic hitting New York and said, I'm gonna make a song about crack and why it's why it's whack. And then you had DC Talk that sort of filled the need of that more pop friendly, uplifting, and it's unashamedly about Jesus. Legendary. Then came Lecrae, releasing his album Real Talk in 2004. The first of 11 studio albums, including Gravity, which won the 2013 Grammy for Best Gospel Album, the first hip hop record to receive the award. We sat down with Lecrae on the 20th anniversary of the release of Real Talk. Your genre, yeah. how would you say it's, it's changed over that 20 year period? The, it was like an underground movement. Mm -hmm. And I remember in 2011 being able to do the BT Awards and being on a national stage and just the world opened up. Born Lecrae Devon Moore, he grew up in Houston with time spent in California. There was poverty and crime that threatened to swallow him up until he found his faith and his calling. Would you say you're a Christian who performs hip hop? Or would you, would you say you're a hip hop artist who happens to be a Christian? And I'm not ashamed to acknowledge my faith, you know, that I believe in Jesus. But I do think Christian is a better noun than it is an adjective. Mm. It's like, who am I? Yeah. And and that defines me as a person. What I do is different. And so I want to be respected for what I do. He's won dozens of awards, collaborating with mainstream artists like Tori Kelly. And then I'll find you. I'm hanging on by your thread, and all I'm clinging to is prayers. When there wasn't a record label for Christian hip hop, he co-founded one, Reach Records. I'm Gabriel. He also plays the Archangel Gabriel in the new movie Journey to Bethlehem. Good. Okay. His own journey has been rocky at times, with his public stances on social justice putting him at odds with some church leaders. When I talked about racial injustice, people perceived it as being political. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm being biblical, right? The, the Good Samaritan, the story of the Good Samaritan, is, this is a biblical agenda. I care about people who are broken. They couldn't understand that. After two decades in the spotlight, Lecrae is still touring both the man and his music in a place of his own making. What role do you see Christian hip hop specifically in the, the, the larger world of popular music? I think it's good music for the church and it's good music from the church to the world. I think it's both. And I mean, that's, that's beneficial for everybody. I guess I already got on my church clothes. <laughs> So, I mean, the, the object of, of the music is to introduce the goodness of God to a new audience. So what they're doing is, is they're meeting the audience where, where they are with a mm -hmm. genre that they can relate to. And there are a lot of newer acts out there, like Miles Minnick, mm -hmm. there's a guy named Hovey, no big deal, mm -hmm. I especially enjoy right now. And the Craig, by the way, doesn't just talk, talk, he walks the walk as well, does a lot of work in his community. And he's also helped launch a nationwide campaign aimed at mentoring young men on mm. fatherhood. It's awesome. What a yeah. Grammy. I mean, you won a Grammy 10 years ago. Yeah. Been doing it a long time. Needs more press. Well, so just thank you for saying it's down. good that you're just, The light's got to be shined on this genre exactly. of music and get exactly. more publicity. Yeah, it's growing. It's and so growing. if you want to hear some of this music, do you just have to go on streaming? Yeah, or? You can stream. It's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. For it. Well, now we know. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.